Hi everyone, welcome back to Metro Prime 3. Last time we started getting, like trying to get rid of that uh, silly uh, Leviathan shield. Managed to break one of the generators. Now we're going to destroy the second one. And it's actually quite a handle if you don't know what you're supposed to do. A lot of trial and error in this game. Well, maybe not that much. Also another piece of lore that we can get right over here. There's not that m much of it. It seems like this is going to be like Aether where there's like the whole bunch of Brio lore to get to get the full story. And don't forget to get an expansion right here. But uh, there's not as much as Aether because Brio is not as expansive as Aether. It's just one planet of many after all. Anyway, the hunted. The primals crafted new magics to protect their warriors and sent them into the burning wastelands to hunt the lords of science hiding there. Though we tried to avoid conflict, many science lords were found and ended by primal war bands. I was but the sole survivor, the last remaining lord of science. In order to protect myself, I adopted the wisdom once shared by the, to by the Chozo. I was about to say Torizo. <laughs> I merged the ways of the new science with the ways of old, magic. I built mighty Morganars out of stone and placed them outside the walls of my home. They are to sadly protect me from all my enemies. Or all enemies, period. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's beyond these things. Oh, hey. It's right there. Let's bump it right now. Of course, it's not going to work out because there's anti-aircraft protecting that one. So yeah, my ship just uh, gets out the hell out of dodge because, you know, it's not going to survive that onslaught. Samus, there are two anti-aircraft turrets protecting the generator. Your ship will not be able to get a clear shot while those guns are active. Oh, yeah, it keeps trying. My ship keeps trying to bomb the place. It's actually kind of cool. Okay, so how do I... Can't go through here? Is there a bomb slot somewhere? Um... Hmm. Well, there's got to be a way to go into these places, right? That's how I can identify this. Space fired crates. Yeah, that's what I figured. We had to get a cutscene to trigger. Hi. Are you new? No, you're not. That means you can just die. Oh, hyper mode. So yeah, when an enemy is in hyper mode, it's possible to defeat them, but it takes so many shots that you might as well just go into hyper mode yourself and you'll get a health refill once you uh, defeat them. I usually start with the right side. In fact, I think you have to, but uh, it doesn't hurt to check out the left side, I suppose. Mm, okay, I gotta go over here. I was about to say I went to the wrong direction. Uh, I think I, I still did. Or no, I've got it. Yeah. Hmm. Hello? We're going to be fighting a lot of parts in this game. Which makes sense because uh, there are major threat. More on that later once we get into the space part uh, lore. This place. Yeah, just more remote Morse class turrets. There was also some fuel gel uh, thing Jimmy passing by. Here they come again. I wonder what happens if we hit those things right now. Yep. Blow up both of these instantly. Um, I think we can do something with them over here too. Maybe. Uh, 
maybe not. Maybe it's not this area I'm thinking of. Fair enough. More freaking turrets. Aha! Our first anti-aircraft. Not, not anti-aircraft. Anti-air turret that we need to get rid of. It's powered by fuel gel, so obviously we gotta blow up the fuel gel tanks to get rid of this thing. So, the, sh the shtick about this uh, fight is that you have to manage your hyper mode really, really well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going to scan this thing right now. If I wasn't too close. Go away. So. Mm-hmm. Fuel gel. So once you've destroyed one of them, the thing will be protected for some time. And then eventually you'll be able to pull it back out again. Found you to target the fuel set, fuel, the fuel gel once again. One more to destroy right over here. Come on. Um, I didn't really pull on that thing, but you know, whatever, whatever works. I didn't pull on that thing either, but whatever. That's it. The pirates aren't dead? No, I guess they aren't. Hmm. So that was a lot easier than I remembered because back when I did this the first time I struggled at it a lot Like you won't believe how many times I screwed up. I might be thinking of the second turret though Or cannon I suppose that's what it's actually called the second cannon Uh, you can blow up these things, right? Yeah, actually these things are reminiscent of the space bar things. Hmm. So basically the, the wildlife in this area got decimated. All because the pirates had to install some stuff. These are phase on growths. They are only vulnerable to charge shots and stuff. So yeah, these stains, y'all remember Metroid 1 when you have to fight Mother Brain? Aren't they kind of reminiscent of it? I suppose you, you don't destroy them with just missiles, but they, they feel reminiscent of it. Which wouldn't make sense because uh, Mother Brain's uh, area is supposed to be space pirate uh, design. There is a secret somewhere around here. Well, um, I guess I remembered wrong. Or maybe it's the next area I'm thinking of. Yeah, it was the next area I was thinking of. You know, the one that was going to have a morph ball track. I can't do anything here right now, but... Mm-hmm. Oh, I had time limit. <laughs> Ship missile expansion. Even more useless than power bomb expansions. I am super serious right now. <laughs> like seriously. You don't use them that often even for normal combat, so... 
Anyway, it's weird that we actually have to scan these doors. They actually get added to the lockbook. You think... You guys, really? Hmm. Oh! It's a mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine explosions. I uh, don't think they deal that much damage. Maybe in hyper mode they do, but like if you're in hyper mode yourself and you're not corrupted, you can just hyper mode, walk into it, and then get out of hyper mode. No biggie. Like right here. See? Didn't do anything to me. Uh, just gonna make sure there's no power up over here. Yeah, okay. If there is a power-up around here, we'll have to get it sometime in the future. Uh, can get some more pickups right here. Very, very useful. Because we're about to do the entire cannon number two! Okay, so that cutscene was there to show you what you need to do to destroy this thing. I do like that they actually made uh, the uh, design for what how, what you have to do to actually uh, be able to uh, destroy this cannon. Different than the first one. That's Metroid Prime 3 strength. Many different events. Okay, so. Gotta go all the way over here. That stops one clamp. Um, but the, the, the pirates will keep coming back, and if you don't destroy them quickly enough, they'll. Uh, Put the clamps back into place. I think it's only two at a time. Also, there's this giant battery all the way over there. Remember it. Mm hmm. <laughs> time to blow the stain up. One. One. Two. Three. Bye bye. Yep, objective completed. So, yeah, this battery, remember it. It's gonna come up later. This unit may be moved to a new location. Um. Yeah, I don't know why there's a thing under there. I always used to think that I could go down there in Morphal form back when I was first playing this game. But no, you can't. Now we need to go... Not over there, suspiciously enough, but over here. If, in case you're wondering, that battery is blocking the door that leads to over there, which is... Quite surprising where it's going to lead to. Oops, I already spoiled it. Yeah, so if you look carefully, there's a door right over here. And there's a door right here. here. So basically, what this means is that Torn Jungle is connected with Cliffside Air Dock. Just, you're not able to make the connection until later on in the game. When you have more power-ups and stuff. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my god, using your shield in slow-mo. What the hell is wrong with you? Die. And there's a secret right over here. Need to use the fuel gel. Yep. And we've got a pump, pump, th pump, pump. Yeah, the controls are a little weird. And we did all that just so we can get some more missiles. Useless, useless missiles. Like, I use them fairly often, but in every instance where I use missiles, I could be using hyper mode instead to quickly defeat my enemies. The only reason I'm actually really using missiles all that often is because of the fact that I can't see how much energy I have left, so I want to conserve my health. Dead. Doesn't, doesn't matter what I do over here now. Gotta go to the Leviathan Seed. Destroy the major boss of the area. And therefore the Seed itself. Oh, whoa! I forgot to bomb the Seed. Whoops. <laughs> Not the Seed. Rather the generator that's generating the shield that's protecting the Seed. Would have wasted quite a bit of time if I hadn't done that. Okay, let's have at it then. Destroy. Mm-hmm. Shield is gone. I actually really like the different uh, designs of the parts when they're armored. Some are green, some are orange, you know, that kind of stuff. But then once you're like uh, uh, done with their armor, they all look the same. Mo for the most part, I think some are bigger than the others. Also, these things are now activating their own hyper modes. And when they do, you pretty much have to go hyper mode yourself because otherwise you're not going to be destroying them anytime soon. Uh, repeated uh, injection of energy tanks, uh, aka repeatedly activating hyper mode, does not put you at risk of immediately entering a corrupted phase. It's a good thing too. Yeah, that was just fun. <laughs> Didn't take that many shots either. Okay. Time to go over here to Briar Seed. Let me find the first major boss and gain our first major useless power up. <laughs> well, you all see what we'll be getting. Just, it's a power up that you wouldn't generally use in combat situations. The game will have you use it later on, like much later on, but not to the point where you'd feel it was something that was convenient and useful to have. You might need to practice a bit to actually be able to beat that boss, this first major boss. Particularly in hyper mode. Major problem is that uh, you don't have many uh, tanks. And the other problem is that the boss has a lot of health. And it can even, like, regenerate itself, too. Which is really, really annoying. Also, these doors are weird. The exposed center within this organic mass appears to be the its only vulnerable point. 
Mm-hmm. For reference, Leviathan Seeds, which is what we're in right now, are supposed to be reminiscent, uh, reminiscent of the Impact Crater of Metroid Prime 1. And they are to some extent. Oh my goodness, what the hell is this? Ancient Reptilicus War Golem appears to be receiving energy from the core of the seed. So it's a Morganar. Hmm. So this is a shtick about all the Leviathans. They seem to take creatures or machinery, whatever it is, from the planet they crash into and use them as protectors of their cores. Metroid Prime is implied to be a Metroid that was upgraded to Metroid Prime to protect the core of its uh, Leviathan Seed. Although, back then, Metroid Prime 1 wasn't clear about what Phazon's origin was really supposed to be. Except that it was apparently supposed to be Metroid Prime itself. Anyway, Morganar. Tons of shockwave attacks. And, yeah, a ton of health too. So you need to target the red orbs enough so that they uh, become uh, vulnerable. Sometimes they should switch spots and Morganar is just kind of annoying to fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Wow, the weak points are only uh, there for like a second or so. It's quite frustrating. Okay, now he's trying to regenerate uh, his uh, shield. And he did it, I think. God damn it. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, good. Or if he did, uh, it only affected uh, one of the orbs. Stop moving your weak points around, please. Okay, so he actually, he actually waits for me to use a charge shot. Bastard. There we go. One down. And now he's gonna switch up his strategy. Oh, and he actually got out of uh, hyper mode. I'm kind of surprised. So, yeah, if you look at his feet. An explosion near his feet could probably destroy them. Something like this. Mm hmm. That's one. Uh, I probably could have bombed the other one real quick if I hadn't hesitated. Uh, what? That wasn't enough? Ow. Whew. That was a nice dodge I did there. <laughs> There we go. Should be using my car shots more often. There we go. That's much better. And now he's going to be doing this again.
Ow. So yeah, I was abusing hyper mode right there. Wasn't abusing it well enough, but uh, enough so that I was invincible most times he tried to attack me. Okay. We're gonna destroy the last front one. Uh, what? All oh, right, stuff is gonna drop from the ceiling. Hello? Oh my god, I'm not jumping high enough. You really need to uh, be good with uh, how you uh, manage your health in this fight. Targeting the back orb right now because I can. Every little bit helps. Just remember that the orbs regenerate so long as you don't completely destroy them. Are we done? Not yet. There we go. Oh my god, stop doing that, please. There we go. Every time you use a charge shot in hyper mode, he seems to know to protect his uh, weak, spo weak point. Mm -hmm. Hello? That's not where I was, but you know, whatever. Okay, it's time to finish this, really. He's gonna keep using the charge attack so that you can have an opportunity to uh, hit his uh, weak point. We're done. Yeah. So uh, that was a bit confusing, and some might of you, some of you might think that I didn't make this look too difficult. In fact, perhaps made it look a bit too easy. But yeah, the first time you do this, you're probably not gonna manage your health all that well. Also, we're getting more corrupted. That's gonna be a trend in this game. And Samus is not gonna take it well. Ugh! Puking phase on. You should probably check your doctor, Samus. At least talk to them about it. Hyperball. It's our first major useless power-up. Namely because the Hyperball it replaces the bombs that we would use when we're in hyper mode in morph ball form. Incidentally, that also means that from now on, if we go into corrupted mode and while we're using hyper mode, we can actually expel phase on by using the hyper ball, which we use by just pressing the A button and holding it. So we're in, we're going to be in hyper mode right over here. I'm going to be doing some pseudo training. No matter how long we stay in it, we won't be corrupted. So yeah, this is Hyperball. It constantly drains your phase on 
that you've got for the hyper mode and because of that it basically means you can never get a corrupted game over in morph ball form if you just hold the a button because it drains it too quickly and oh uh, yeah that's the uh, the phase on core of a Lev leviathan seed kind of looks like a giant brain Giant brain spider? Giant brain arachnid? Something like that. Anyway, it says press A to release the energy, uh, the phase on energy to the core. I don't know what happens if you don't press the button. Like if you get an instant game over because you were too corrupted or something like that. I think it does it automatically. If you get an instant game over, it's the same as just letting yourself get corrupted until it's uh, too late. Yay, Leviathan Seed destroyed! No more phase on will be generated from now on. So, Brio is saved. Its inhabitants might still be feral and stuff, but at least it will no longer be corrupted. Brio is now saved from further phase on corruption. Yeah, further phase on corruption. Hmm, I wonder why. Might, like, we've seen what happened to Rundus. Maybe we should just, like, assume he's also been corrupted, even though there's only, like, 6% of uh, him left. Or was it 0.6%? Only his brain is left, in terms of his birth body. Also, Aurora Unit 217, he, it has a much nicer voice than 242 right here. Thanks. Okay, um, I think it's been long enough, maybe. I Maybe not. I could do a little more. Hmm. We'll go to Norium. Get a couple of things there. Elysia is right over there, in case anyone you were wondering. Like, I already mentioned it a while before. So, I really wanted to keep this for, like, the end. Docking into Norium, so to get some power-ups. But, I uh, there's a... A handful, or rather specifically two, that I can get right now. I think it are just missile pickups, though, so not all that useful. First, let's get this. Yay. A missile expansion. Okay, nothing major. I think that'll be it for this video, then. We're going to be going to Elysia next time, which is the nicest looking location out of the entire Prime Trilogy so far. Because we don't know what Prime 4 is going to have for us. They still say that game is going to come out next year, but I think we all know better now, don't we? Okay, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed this and I'll have a nice day. Last uh, little bit, if you look carefully at Samus's model, it's a little more blue than usual. At least compared to how we looked like before we fought the first major boss. Hmm. See y'all next time. Bye-bye!